Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing this look right here, this look right here, using this one single puff. Alright, so I'm just going to jump right in and start with my primer. Today I'm using the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer, and that's what it looks like. I'm going to use that with my fingers, just put a little bit on my fingertips and then just place it right all over my face and kind of blend it in with my fingers. So for this makeup look, as long as I'm not using any makeup brushes, it's good to go. So fingers are A-OK. -okay. So I got that all nice and blended in and next is for foundation. And foundation, I'm going to use my favorite foundation currently. I do have a bunch of other foundations, but I'm just really feeling wet and wild right now. And this is their Dewy Foundation. I did a review on this, so if you haven't checked out that video, go ahead and check it out. But we're using this today, and we are going to just take a little bit out. I like to put some on the back of my hand. Use that to dab it all over my face. This is definitely a buildable foundation. Medium coverage, I believe they say it's full coverage, but to me, it's more of a medium coverage. We're gonna very lightly spread it out all along my face. And now we take this Laura Mercier puff, and this is where the magic happens, or at least we hope it does. I'm going to just puff all this out and see if it blends out nicely. We are comparing this to the Blendiful, the Tati Beauty Blendiful. So far, I mean, it does look like it's doing a pretty decent job. I have to take a closer look. I mean, it's not that bad. It doesn't feel the same as the Blendiful, obviously, but not bad at all. I'm not going to be upset about it. It doesn't look too bad. All right, to put on some concealer, I'm going to take the, let's see, I'll take the Estee Lauder 24-hour concealer, and I'm going to skip the Hydra part just using the concealer. I'm going to add a couple of lines right below my eyes, down my nose, a little something here, here, and here and the reason why I like to highlight these parts is because I want like the parts that are highlighted I want those parts of my face to really stand out and you know pop so again going back with my Laura Mercier puff we're going to try and blend that out I mean so far this puff is doing a pretty decent job I'm not gonna lie it doesn't feel as like soft and you know flexible as the blendiful but i mean it is doing what it's supposed to do it feels soft don't get me wrong it feels soft but not as soft as the blendiful something about it just feels tiny 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 bit rough but then again i feel like this puff is meant to you know pat and not you know rub against your skin so that might be the reason why it feels that way. But you know, it's not like it's hurting or anything. So, so far it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna be, you know, I'm not mad about this. It looks pretty nice. I like it. All right, so now let's go ahead and set our makeup. And of course, to set our makeup, we have to use the Laura Mercier Setting Translucent Powder. What other powder would I use if I'm using their puff? Come on. So we're gonna take this. And I just like to flip it over, you know, a couple of times. And that should be enough to get some on your puff. And I'm going to set all my makeup just like that. Of course, using this puff to set my makeup with the translucent powder is amazing, obviously, because that's what it's meant for. All right, you guys, for my brows, I just went ahead and filled in my brows. Obviously, I didn't want to use my little Laura Mercier puff. I just thought it wouldn't be, you know, I mean, not impossible, but it would be very difficult. So just kind of skipped that part and did my brows with my e.l.f. 
brow pencil. This is amazing if you haven't tried it yet. So go ahead and try it. So now back to the makeup. I'm going to do my, let's see, do some bronzer. And so today I'm going to use the butter bronzer, which is that right there. And yes, I've hit pan, which is amazing. I feel like it's hard to hit pan because there's always new makeup coming out and then I'm always gravitating buying new makeup, but haven't bought any new makeup recently. I do want to get the Fenty Cream Blush and Bronzer, but we'll see. All right, so taking this, I dipped it into the um, bronzer, the butter bronzer, and we're going to tap in that color right where we want to bronze up our face. And then what I like to do is just kind of blend out in an upward motion. All right, so that looks pretty good. For my blush, I'm gonna take my NYX Sweet Cheeks blush. This is extremely pigmented. So we're gonna take our little poof. And I mean, it's so tiny, you don't really have much of a clean surface area. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of flip it and use the other side so that I have this side to work with. So I'm gonna take the poof and tap it in there. Just kind of, hmm, not bad. Maybe even blend it out a little bit. Ooh, that made it super red and super rosy. Do you guys see that? Super pigmented. We're gonna make this work. I do like rosy cheeks and going over my nose. All right, so we need to kind of mute this down a little bit. I'm gonna go back in with the translucent powder and kind of go over that because this is looking super blushy. And even for me who loves blush, this is like, very, very blushy. All right, so this is the best that I can do. I'm gonna go ahead and move on and do the highlighter. For the highlighter, I'm using the Wet n Wild. This is the loose highlighter powder. This is super pigmented and amazing. I think every single product I've been using is very pigmented. And if I'm not mistaken, besides the Laura Mercier and um, what else? I think that's it. Besides that, everything is like drugstore, I believe. I could be wrong. No, I think I'm right. Everything is drugstore. So highlight down my nose. We want to be extra in this look. All right. Highlight my cheeks. I'm like really digging in there and packing on this highlighter but honestly when you really use this highlighter use it however you want but when you're like really using it you don't need that much trust me i'm just being super extra right now all right look look at how my skin glows all right so that looks pretty good so the face is doing okay. I mean, I feel like once I started putting on the blush, it kind of went downhill, but not really, just because that blush I used was very pigmented. And I do know that, but I feel like the eye look might bring this look back together. We'll see though, we'll see. Okay, so now I have to pick out a palette and should I go for a more natural look or give myself a challenge? and go for a more like colorful look. So after thinking about it for a little while, as in like two seconds, I decided to go with this palette right here. This is the Domini Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette. If you haven't seen what this palette looks like, ta-da, that's what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna take these colors and of course, using this little puff, we're gonna see if I can create a nice wearable eye look. Nothing complicated because, I mean, why complicate it, right? But something wearable. All right, so 
Oh, and fingers are definitely a yes, all right? All right, so first I'm taking the shade Soft and Sweet, and I'm packing that just all over my eyes. And really, for me at least, I cannot see like exactly where I'm placing it, but I can kind of feel it out. So I'm just kind of feeling out where I'm placing it. And I'm placing it all over my eyelid, even up to my brows. So that part was pretty easy, I'm not going to lie. Because it's just kind of like packing it all over your lid space. So the next shade I'm going to use is called the Bittersweet. And it's that really pretty like light purple, but not super light. It's the shade right there. And this time, packing it all over my eyes, but not going up to my eyebrows. And then trying to give it a nice shape by doing a kind of like a rainbow or what we used to call windshield wiper. All right. Hmm. Looks like that didn't work too well, but we'll fix it. Don't worry. Do you see all that right there? That was not my plan, but it's okay. You know, it was okay. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. But let's see if I can fix it. Maybe if I hold it this way. And, ooh, yeah, that works so much better. Yeah. Yep, that is, yeah. All right, so I'm just going to kind of fix this up a little bit. And we're going to pretend that that never happened. All right, so I just kind of wiped it off using like a little makeup wipe. But I promise I didn't touch anything. Just kind of wiped it off. And so we're back. So, next color in this palette, I think I'm going to use the color, let's see, I want an, I want like a dark outer corner. So, for the outer corner, I feel like cherry juice would be a good color. You know what, before I dive into that color, I'm going to use the color cranberry. Cranberry looks like that on this side, alright, so that's cranberry. And we have to use it this way. So for cranberry, we're going to use it just on the inner corner. So like this. This is way more difficult than the uh, Blendiful. Even though it's like super small, the Blendiful is just a lot more like you can manipulate it and maneuver it so easily. Whereas this is kind of thick. So it's a little bit harder to do that. Yeah, I mean... It applies the product on your face, on your eyes, but it's just not as forgiving. So, but yeah, that right there is cranberry. Let's do that on the other eye. Not bad, I guess. I've seen worse. Not bad, right? I mean, all right, all right. All right, so let's go ahead and do that dark outer corner. And did I mention which outer corner color I was going to use? If I haven't already, I'm going to use cherry juice. So, for the outer corner cherry juice, I want to use a very, very small point on this little puff I have. And dab little by little just to make sure I am placing it exactly where I want it to be. Did you guys see that? If you haven't, rewind and watch it again because... Oh. I did a pretty good job. Look at that outer corner shade. Wow. Wow. All right. Let's cross our fingers and hope that I can do the exact same thing on the other eye because that was all skills. No, a little bit of skills and a whole lot of luck, you guys. All right. So we are doing the same thing, tapping the outer corner little by little just to make sure I'm getting the spot that I really want to darken up. All right, kind of messed up on this eye with this dark outer corner color. Not gonna lie, it looks kind of, kind of janky looking, but we're gonna fix it, we're gonna fix it. All right, so, mm, not bad. Okay, so if you guys remember, I did tell you fingers are okay to use because they're a part of your body. So 
I'm going to add some color called Honey Dipped. It's like a really pretty, smooth, creamy gold color. We're going to add that just on the center of our lid. I swear, any glitter or shimmer, once you pack that on and put it on your face, it really just saves your makeup look. Glitter and like lashes. If your makeup looks kind of weird or just not what you're looking for, once you place glitter on or lashes, they are like superheroes to makeup because they save your makeup look. I mean, my eye makeup looks pretty stunning now. All right, so not bad. Really not bad at all. I'm gonna go back in with that cherry juice and just add a little bit more on the outer corner. Just a little bit. I don't wanna mess up this nice eye makeup. Nice, yeah, I mean, yes, we've all seen nicer makeup, but nice when you're using a puff is pretty nice. All right, so that's what it looks like so far. I think the eye makeup is pretty done. I'm gonna go ahead and put eyeliner on and mascara. Obviously, I cannot use this for my eyeliner or this for my mascara, so be right back. All right, so I'm back. I have my eyeliner on and I decided to put some falsies instead of mascara just because I'm gonna be taking these off anyways. These falsies are magnetic, so, you know, I feel like for makeup videos, these are perfect because they're easy to remove. All right, I'm gonna finish it off by using this. This is the Lip Pout by CoverGirl. Such a pretty color. And then to give my lips just a little bit of shine and dimension, taking my Domini Cosmetics, this is their creamer. That's what it's called. Take some on the tips of my fingers and just dab just on the center of my lips. And that just brings out a nice gloss, but not too glossy because I'm like tapping it in, not, you know, actually applying it, if that makes sense. So that looks really good and beautiful. So love the lips. That looks amazing. All right, you guys, this is the final look. I think I did a really good job. I mean, really, really good job because, um, I mean, look. This look is definitely wearable. It's, I surprised myself. I'm looking at myself in the mirror and literally just using this one puff, I did this entire face. That is crazy. I mean, minus the fake lashes and the lips and the eyeliner, but everything else, oh, and minus the brows, but everything else with this, you guys, that's crazy, all right? I'm just, wow. Wow, I'm, I'm amazed. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty impressed. I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't be upset about this and going out. I mean, obviously, I can work on perfecting this, but it's not bad. It's really not that bad. I'm not lying. And the blush, it, it kind of like worked out in this situation, I feel like. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be, just because the eye look is a little bit more on the darker side. But yeah, overall... This is the final look, you guys. What do you guys think? Would you do this challenge? If you do do this challenge, then let me know so I can check out your video. Or if you post it on your Instagram, let me know so I can check that out too. Tag me. If you're not following me already, my Instagram handle is at quacamole21. Or just like scroll down below and, um, you know, check it out there. I have links to all my socials. But yeah, so this is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy challenge I came up with. I think I came up with it. I'm pretty sure. I've never seen any other video do this. So in my mind, I've came up with it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this crazy challenge video. If you like content like this, go ahead and like this video. Give it a big thumbs up, you guys. That does mean so much to me. And um, it's very helpful. Of course, if you want to join the Quack fam, why not? You can do so by clicking subscribe down below and... That way you join the Quack fam, right? It's easy. It's free. Click subscribe, you guys. It helps me at no cost to you, right? So click subscribe and what else? Comment down below any other looks you want me to do, any other challenges you want me to try out or product reviews. I do tons and tons of product reviews. Um, yeah, that's it. All right. So I hope you guys are staying safe. 
and staying home. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, wherever you are. I'll talk to you next time. Bye, guys. It's been a day. Stressing out like crazy Just wanna be lazy with my girls It's been a day We gonna get wavy Layer on some diamonds and